And like I was saying, like there should be one team that makes Warzone and one team that Which makes is Raven, no? multiplayer. Like instead of making a new COD every year, it should just be like what COD Mobile is. Dude, if Call of Duty mm -hmm. was what COD Mobile was, where we just paid like just basically make it make us pay a yearly subscription so you still get your sixty bucks a year out of us, you know? <laughs> and then make like just keep updating the game, just give us COD Mobile but on PC. That would be elite. I can't believe that guy just got saved by his teammate. He gets to the top. This is the guy at the top. Oh, okay, I'm on rest. I gotta I gotta focus up. Come here, boys. You. Oh, my RAM either is bad or I just stink at aiming. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, this tracker perk is kinda kinda different. Um, Sorry, cool. teammate. With all this Warzone stuff, though, like storyline different in it, it they're kind of ruining their chances at making more COD games. What do you mean? So, like, the whole first one with uh, Mom Yeah. You gotta stop this, uh. This guy's son from the first Mon Warfare that you. But you in the first Mon Warfare, you kill both of them. Oh, yeah, yeah. In the this campaign, one, right? Yeah. The uh, Zacchaeus is his name. This one, his son's all in Warzone. And the only time we ever get to see him is in the final cutscene where the little Christ kills him. So yeah. that just cuts off a whole storyline for Mon Warfare 2, like whatever, when it comes out. Right. Like Mon Warfare 2022 20, or whatever? Like the next one? Yeah, that. And then they just ruined it by doing that. And then the same thing with Cold, uh, Cold War. No, that guy was waiting for me. Like with the Cold War side of the storyline in Warzone, they had Adler taken. And all, they introduced all these characters just to do nothing with them for a uh, oh. whole another year after this. Yeah, right. I can see what you're saying. I usually am like one to not really care about the storylines because I normally play competitive, obviously. But I see what you're saying, though. Like how it does. There's no way I said that bad, but it, it does make the game cooler, it. though. I just spawned in front of him. Are you kidding? It does make the game cooler, though. I agree. Like when there is like a storyline, it definitely just I don't know makes it more interesting. But like. They need to keep storylines out of the ER games. Nobody cares about them. Like, half the community doesn't even care about the Cold War one going on right now. Yeah, right? I cared about the Mon Warfare one, but the Cold War one, I'm just like, you know. Rudy, Rudy and Scary, hashtag fake friends. That's what I'm saying, Vortex. Everyone's a bunch of fake friends, bro. I'm glad that's... See, Vortex knows. Just Rudy and Scary. Fake friends, bro. What are you gonna do, though? Sometimes you gotta have fake friends, but that's okay. We forgive them. We forgive them a little bit. We forgive them a little bit. Oh boy, that guy got locked on. Hold on. Do I have aim assist on this keyboard and mouse right now? Hold on. I might have aim assist. Oh, nope, never mind. <laughs> Don't have walls. Can, can confirm that. You know, I just have. I have high hopes for uh, Vanguard now. Yeah, I, so I'm. I'm excited to play it, but I also know to never get too excited. <laughs> mm -hmm. Call of Duty has taught me to never get too excited for a COD game. And it's around that time where the uh, what, what is it called? The big YouTubers get the early gameplay of it, like really early gameplay of it. So it's someone that's going to start getting leaked on. Oh yeah. Wait, that's so. a bad guy? That was a bad guy. Oops. Dude, I hate when the leaks are like insanely low quality. I don't understand. Yeah. Like I well, don't- most of the time they're screen recorded. It's a screen recording of a screen recording. Of a screen recording of someone filming third person on a PC. I guess. That's usually Wait, how it just... turns out. I guess in I... the first person That's a fair point. And the first person filming it is usually trying to film it um like trying not to get caught while they're filming it. Yeah, right. Dude, I, it's dude, like a school fight. Dude, if I worked in that like industry, I would literally there's no chance I would ever leak anything. Like there's not like those guys are risking like getting fired Everything. and probably sued. Like mm -hmm. I would imagine if you got caught leaking, you would get sued like pretty hard because maybe not though, but I, I can imagine they make them sign like stuff. Yeah. Vanguard, how are you going to have three major devs? Three major devs and still flop, there's no way. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Vanguard, dude, if Vanguard flops uh, it'd be a quite the disappointment to say the least. <laughs> it'd be quite. I mean, it, because it, so Vortex, we were just saying how uh, Vanguard is going to be made by Sledgehammer, and Sledgehammer made Advanced Warfare and World War Two, like two of the 
Like, I know not everyone hated Advanced Warfare, but Advanced Warfare did start, like, the jetpack meta, which, um, people like now. So, Call of Duty is one of those, you know how it is, like, no one likes the game as it's playing it, but they like it later down. But no one liked jetpacks as they were coming out, except for all the new players. Like, the people, like... Yeah, the people who are like their first game was a jetpack, but everyone else, if your first game first game wasn't a jetpack game, you didn't really like jetpacks. Um, so, yeah. but they made the jetpack era, then they made the World War II game, like the worst COD, like, ever. Like, especially, I mean, dude, it was just, literally every month was a new game because they knew it was bad. So, I don't know, I feel like they really gotta pick it up. They gotta pick I mean, it up. They tried something with the divisions in that game, but it just... Yeah, see the division. Really yeah, it was like a cool concept at first, but then when you realize was, that all those doing was taking away your customization, you're like, oh, this kind of yeah. sucks. It was it was a cool concept, but poor execution. Like you yeah. could only run a suppressor if you were this. Yeah, right. It would have been but cool. Then you could only have a counter UAV if you were this thing. Yeah, right. And couldn't only certain people run dead silence, like certain divisions. Uh, I think. It was Mountain Division that had quiet footsteps. Yeah, Mountain. Yeah, like this it's supposed to be the Sniper Division. I don't know. And there's I one perk. One perk per thing, which is kind of annoying. Dude, uh, the Divisions would have been really cool if they kept it to like a campaign only thing. Like campaign only mm -hmm. Divisions would be cool. This poor guy's gonna try but, to shoot an RPG. I mean, not I mean, today, it's mate. It's kind of sucky that it took them so long to change it. Can yeah, you go right. back now and it's a whole different game. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude. World War 2, like, the last like, month is, like, a actually a good game. They added uh -oh. Prestige Master, like, it was the first one to add Prestige Master camos. Oh, yeah? Like, you actually had, like, they were dope camos, too. Well, unfortunately, we'll never get Prestige Master again because of Warzone, but at the end of the day, that's not too big of a I deal. Think, I think we might get it this one, hopefully. I know, because they can't because it's going to be Warzone, so they're going to do the season thing again. That hammer makes really good games mechanically, but there's no colors. That, yeah, right. There's no colors that get stuck with the. Exp yeah, I agree with you. Like they do make a good mechanical game, but the problem is like, like with World War II, the problem was like we were uh, scary and I were saying earlier. They try to, like, no one wants a real like historically realistic game. Like, no one wants a historically correct game. Like, don't limit Wait. yourself. Like, for instance, like if Cold War was historically correct, we would not have trophy systems in the game. You know, like there was not trophy systems. Yeah, I mean, the whole thing is keep realism to the campaign, but multiplayer. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, dude, the campaign, campaigns are cool with realism. Like, that's what I was saying, like, with the World War II, like, the divisions in campaign would be cool. Like, imagine, so, like, imagine this, right? Like, you could play basically five different campaigns. Dude, you know would actually be really cool if they did this for a campaign? So, imagine there's five divisions, right? And then there's, like, five mm -hmm. short campaigns. And then you can play all five of them. Each one is like a little different. Like you're playing as a different character in the um, same story though, but like they made it different enough to so where it's cool. And then once you beat all five of them, then you get to progress to the second part of the campaign. Wouldn't that be like sick? You you, you just explained Battlefield. Oh, is that one Battlefield? Five's campaign. Oh yeah. yeah? Dude, that would so be cool. Four different like four different whole things of like different countries at the time. What they did, and you play as one of the characters. Dude, that, yeah, that, that would be cool. And they're short, they're like three missions each, so. Dude, yeah, that'd be that's... cool. Yeah, Chavix has I... said, he just joined and he said, sort of like Battlefield, yeah. Vortex said, wait, wait, Raven for color and Vibrant Sledgehammer doesn't have to experiment and they have Treyarch to help us out again. Well, Treyarch, I'm pretty sure, is there only for zombies. But yeah, like, that's mm. another thing. Like, no one wants, like, the, the grays and the greens for the colors. Like, everyone wants, like, fresh, like, cold, like, Treyarch colors. Cold. Treyarch, uh, multiplayer colors are always good. 